Hello friends, I am Rohit. In this video, I will be dismantling this single phase induction motor. So let's see what's inside this motor. So let's open this bolts. Let's remove the top cover. Okay. Now I've removed the top cover and inside this there is a rotor. See this one is the rotor and this is the stator. Now let's open the um, back cover. So yeah, I have opened the back cover and I will take out this rotor. Yeah. See. I have taken out the rotor. So see. This is the squirrel cage rotor and this is the stator. Let me first talk about the a rotor so this is the squirrel cage rotor see this is the shaft okay and these are the aluminium bars see these are the aluminium bars it is skewed see it is tilted not straight it is skewed see these are the aluminium bars and Inside this, uh, it is laminated. These are laminated using soft iron core to prevent eddy current losses. And these aluminum bars are short circuited by these end rings. See, these two are the end rings, and the aluminum bars have been have been short circuited. Okay, this is the whole structure of the rotor. I hope is it it is clear to all <clears throat> let let's keep this aside and now let's focus to the stator so this is the stator it consists of two windings there are two windings mm, one one is the main winding and the other one is the auxil auxiliary winding Two windings plays a very important role for uh, creating a phase shift and that phase shift has been created with the help of capacitor and phase shift is required to generate a rotating magnetic field. Okay, so let's see the stator. So see, uh, these are the stator teeth and slots. See, teeth and slots, teeth and slots where windings uh, have been placed okay so the construction is very well constructed see very well constructed okay very nicely done and this is the top one is the yoke means where the frame is attached and this is the yoke see these these are the soft iron cores means uh, they are they are created by laminating the sheets okay the laminations have been done for reducing for the reduction of eddy current losses okay so the so design is very fantastic see the construction is very much robust okay there is uh, nothing very complicated design and the construction is very simple, very robust. 
so now let's uh, I will uh, say the principle what is the principle behind it okay now first I will attach this rotor to the back portion and I will place this inside See, I have attached this. This, yeah. Now it is okay. See, see between the rotor and the stator, there is a air gap. See, it is the air gap, and in the air gap rotating magnetic field is formed okay when the stator is fed with the supply ac supply rotating magnetic field gets developed uh, at the uh, air gap and between the rotor and the stator there is a air gap where rotating magnetic field develops that that is cut by the uh, uh, the bar aluminium bar which is present in the rotor so what happens when the rotor bar cuts that rotating magnetic flux um, emf gets induced in the rotor bar and as these uh, bars uh, are short circuited um, uh, with, with the help of these end rings so what happens current starts flowing in it in the rotor bar and we know that when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field it experiences a torque okay it experiences a torque and as it is free to move the torque acts tangentially and starts it starts rotating it is the symbol funda okay so now let's reassemble this motor and decode these windings and see how it works i will power this uh, motor uh, with uh, my step down transformer at 100 volts i will not mess up with 230 volt okay so i will step step it down to 100 volt and i will fit to this motor so now let's uh, reassemble this motor Okay. What had happened? it is not placed properly the rotor is not moving freely wait Now let's uh, decode the windings. Leave this. As there are two windings, 
so there are four loops and the terminals are four okay see uh, now I have to check the terminals so I will use my test lamp this is my test lamp to check this these windings so I will check this uh, by connecting this lamp in series okay So let's check the windings. So I will connect this to the mains and I will find the terminals of the winding. So see how I am finding this. Yeah. This is one winding. This is one winding. And so this will be the rest, uh, the other winding. And this okay this is the one winding and this is the other winding yeah I've got it so let's remove the supply of the test lamp now I will uh, connect uh, the supply to the to my transformer and this is the output of the transformer these two wires are the output of the transformer that I will connect to the motor so let's check the let's say the connection I will just connect main winding and auxiliary winding windings terminal in series I will short this terminals okay now the rest two terminals of the main winding and auxiliary winding I will connect to the capacitor so as I am using a low voltage so I have to increase the capacitance okay to uh, to pro uh, to generate appropriate torque okay so this I have made a capacitor bank by connecting uh, five capacitors in parallel okay so let's connect this to the main and auxiliary winding terminals So, and this uh, terminal I will connect to the uh, connect with the transformer like this. Okay, and this one I will connect with one of the end of the capacitors fedding to the uh, terminal of auxiliary winding like this. Now let's power the transformer yeah see the motor is rotating okay see see the motor is rotating okay nice now So finally we had we have decoded the working of this single phase induction motor. Let's uh, open this top cover and see if it uh, works or not. Okay, wait. Wait. Let's see that.
let me power yeah it was it already i opened this top cover just for showing how it works mane means it will be clearly visible okay it will be clearly visible so i have removed the top top cover the windings have been heated means uh, without putting the proper case this will not work because there is a uh, uh, due to friction it will not move okay so i have to connect this uh, top cover okay then only it will move uh, rotate smoothly See, see it is rotating. So that's it. Uh, so I hope uh, you all enjoyed this video. Uh, so don't forget to like, share, and and subscribe for more more uh, this kind of videos. So thank you. Have a nice day.